Hi guys. Okay, so I'm back for another video. This time it's talking about this little product here, the Ukes Renew from Your Ukes Official. So they actually gifted me this product to try. It's an eye massager and a mini face massager, and I personally love it. Um, I've had a user issue with this um, when I originally received it because I was not consistent with this um, but in the last two and a half weeks I've been extremely consistent and I've seen really lovely results so I'm just gonna go on and show you it has a little cat to keep it all clean and that's the little on button right there if you press it it will actually vibrate and heat up a little bit as you can see it's got settings different settings so this is the red light that's the blue light and if you press it one more time it goes into heat and vibration so I'm just gonna do a demo on my hand first so it actually is a very slight vibration light you can feel it in on your skin but it's not the too much vibration um, and it feels really nice and you can feel the warmth on your skin so it's not one of those really super heated sort of massage tools so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off right now okay so I'm gonna do my skincare routine um, I usually use this after my serum so I'm just gonna go over and do it really quickly and show you how I utilize this. I use this three minutes every night. You can use it for five, 10. The brand actually suggests 10, but I always have a problem running for time. So I usually do three minutes and I do consistently every night. And if I have the time, I actually do it for my morning routine too. So that's where I've actually seen a lot of difference um, in the sense that if you do it and you're consistent with it, it's really great results. So let's get into it. So I've just finished washing my face. I'm just gonna follow up with toner, okay? And then my serums. So I usually use this right after my serum um, because I'm a crazy person that enjoys layering my serums. So as you can see here, Yes, I do not use a cotton pad. Uh, I am bad in that sense. <laughs> because I'm a type of person that I don't like creating more waste and cotton pads tend to do that. So I will go ahead, apply the toner on the palm of my hands, straight onto my face, followed by a little mist of water. Um, you can either use a vein, thermal spray, um, Avian, it doesn't matter. Mine is actually the Melvita, Melvita Rose Floral Water and I just kind of give it a quick spritz. Um, it's super fine, it's none of that spitting in your face type. So I, I really love this stuff. And I actually buy the refillable bottles that I can refill into smaller bottles and I prefer it that way. Followed by my eye serum. So I actually use this particular eye serum, the Natura one. Um, the reason I like it is because it smooths back fine lines and it reduces dark circles. It actually eliminates and brightens your, sun, your eye area. So I usually take about a dot on my ring finger, apply it straight under my eyes and around my eyes, massaging really quickly. Okay, then my new holy grail serum i absolutely love this okay take basically three drops apply it in now it doesn't matter how you want to layer your serums but i tend to go from really light to thicker and I apply my oil serums last. Okay, then basically, I go in with this one, which is something that I'm actually testing right now. Um, you'll be able to see a review of this soon. Um, I quite like this, I've been using it for a day now. Um, 
it's a little thicker than the Centella one but not as thick as the Common Labs Vitamin E Calming Serum but I like this, it's got a herbal smell I tend to like herbal smells and then followed by this serum now this is a Natura sorry, a Natura oil serum it's a lightweight oil serum but I really like it in a sense that it actually helps my dry skin feel more comfortable so then I apply it on like this you can apply an oil serum or you can just go straight from your normal water-based serums and do a massage but I like an oil serum only because my skin is dry and yeah it needs to have some moisture in my skin it not just hydration so then I'll turn it on okay and I usually start with the red light first and basically just massage around the eye area this way so I hold it like this, like you would be holding a lipstick, really. Because if you were to hold it any other way, to be very honest, you might not see the same results. So, okay. I'm just going to move in a little bit more closer and show you. So I li literally put it here and you can feel the nice warm feeling and just massage this. And then I also do it lightly around here because I actually want to get rid of some of the creases that I have here, fine lines. So this actually helps with the absorption of your serums into the skin. And I really seriously love this stuff. And just lightly apply pressure you you're not actually applying a lot of pressure it's just touching your skin gently and then letting the tool do the massage and then I actually like to do it here it really is very relaxing trust me it is so relaxing And then I tend to like to do it here where it's the same thing like you do jade rolling. So you're actually just gently lifting the skin. When you do this, I find that uh, my skin sags less, which actually means that it's actually improving collagen in my skin. And I really, really enjoy it. It's so relaxing. And I have extremely sensitive skin type. Since I actually started using this, I find that my skin is not so sensitive. Um, my skin actually absorbs the serums a lot better. And I actually see a better result with it on my serums. And it makes layering serums a lot easier because by doing this your skin actually absorbs in a lot of the serums that you put on top of it and it really really has been extremely helpful because i am a crazy serum hoarder and i'm always having a lot of serums if you ask me what i buy the most it would be a serum because I'm a type of person, I don't believe that a moisturizer has enough active ingredients compared to a serum. So that is one round with red, and then I go in the next round with blue. Okay? And you can also do it under your eye if you want, but I don't do blue under my eyes too long. I generally use the red more. And as you can see, because you've got that serum on your skin and a little bit left over on the little pen point, it's not dragging my skin. 
you can do this with moisturizer too but i find that i prefer serums because i've tried the moisturizer method and when it dries out it's rather painful because my skin is dry skin type so because i layer my serums it's just so much nicer to do this with my serums because I've got lots of serums on my skin at one go it doesn't really dry out as fast and it creates that suppleness that allows you to actually enjoy a facial massage then you go in here so with blue actually I like to use it because I've got currently breakouts and acne scars and it also helps against sunspots and freckles which i actually happen to do have a lot being really fair skinned if you know what i mean so yes this is a really good tool you can do this for about three minutes i tend to go for about three to five um so it's really nice and then just do it as long as you want basically um, and I found that this has been really great because one charge of this actually lasts me about two and a half weeks of daily everyday use for about five to ten minutes thereabouts and this is really great in a sense that it actually charges by usb so you can take it with you traveling i just absolutely love this stuff and the last place that i tend to like to do my blue light lastly is around my nose because it helps with pores and i have quite a bit of redness around here where you can actually start to see the pores because of my rosacea so I tend to kind of like do a little bit extra here extra on my pimple marks or acne marks just to help lighten them and as you can see it's been really really good because it's actually helped improve the absorption of the centella ampule to help me reduce the acne scarring PIEs that I get very often from having acne so yes this is my routine short simple cute you can also go to the next one which is just heat and vibration but because blue light and the red light already has heat and vibration added to it I don't usually use the third option um, unless I'm feeling extra extra um, hard working so usually I'm always rushing for time so I will just do red light blue light which already has heat and vibration and then finish it off by closing turning it off um, it's better if once you're done to be able to rinse this off so that you don't actually spread bacteria all over your face um, then I'll follow it up by a moisturizer and I actually love this particular one by Common Labs it's my favorite all-time light cream moisturizer so right after that I actually take again I love my Melvita rose floral water mist because it just keeps my skin more extra hydrated and I just give it a light spritz okay then I tap it all in and basically take my moisturizer so it looks like this and just basically take a fair amount of it it depends on you some people like a gel moisturizer you can follow it up with whatever moisturizer you like but I actually quite like this one because it gives me hydration as well as moisture and as a dry skin type I need both oil and water and then basically just apply it on and because your skin is nice and warm it absorbs that moisturizer right in I absolutely love it I actually prefer doing the tool at night because it's a really great self-care um, 
routine to have just before going to bed or just before you wind down for the night. Um, I usually do it and then I sit down for the next 20 to 30 minutes to read a book. Um, it actually helps me to enjoy my self-care time, you know, in a day. So might be 15, might be 20 minutes, but it's me time and I don't get disturbed by anybody. And yeah, I enjoy caring for me. So thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you like it and that you will actually go and try this tool out for yourself. It is really, really one of the best items that I have tried. Thank you.